Um, hi, I'm Jerry Gallon Come, come from Wichita, Kansas. Still working on um getting these people in the courtroom and um filing an attempted murder and all that stuff on them. <clears throat> I know they they uh stood me up at work and got rid of me because of the hate crime, and you know they've been trying going at it with me for almost eight years now, and like you know that guy Anson Hong, that guy Kim inside my bank account going through all my stuff and mid American credit union <clears throat> in Wichita, Kansas framed me uh many times. Like they they work with that guy definitely because like I was trying to get a refinance with for my car and I had the credit cards to pay it and that guy went and did some kind of super move on me with the Buddhist temple and uh <clears throat> and got rid of it. And now I was trying to get rid of my apartment and all my stuff. <clears throat> you know, I'm gonna have to um as uh, President, uh, U.S. President Joe Biden, uh, uh, for help, and can you uh, um, buy me a pit ticket, your people, whatever, Washington, to Washington, and help me find and lower an attorney, an attorney, in and uh, settling this feud with the church, and leading technology composites and the Buddhist temple. You know, and my physical father that murdered my mother and tried to kill me all my life and realized that it couldn't do it. So it went the other direction trying to cover up his faults, <clears throat> you know, and um, if it doesn't work, I, I, I asked the 47th president of the United States to step in and help me after Joe Biden with this case, <clears throat> you know, and these people are really ruthless cold-hearted monsters you know and uh i would love to see them pass a lot of the test i have one word for the people family that was um uh, that suffered death in the two towers coming down and going into war because of it because going because of oil oh you lamp oh you oil you know running out <clears throat> you know um you know something tells me that you know, it, it goes deeper than that. And LTC, Leading Technology Composite, Buddha, and Wichita, Kansas, the Zion one, <clears throat> has something to do with it, you know. And like, uh, I've, you know, it, it, it does matter because the killers are still out there, you know. And you guys should be upset and try to help me out because the truth is there's no such thing as injustice or justice because the killers are still out there. And, you know, doing all kinds of wicked stuff. Right now, they're, like, doing all kinds of stuff because there, there's a time hole. Like, leading technologies, like, it, it's waiting for somebody to die. So they could, you know, they're expanding right now, too, you know. Right. And, like, <clears throat> it's like they're waiting for somebody to die, you know. Right. And, you know, they're, they're just trying to capture me on camera. And through that, they were up in Old Town partying like wild animals, you know. <clears throat> Right now, I'm actually at uh, outside that guy D. Pumbilai again. Now, something I had it all going in my head. I'm gonna go down there quick. Here. I had it all in my head, and and now it's trying to get out of my head. But like, you know, I'm gonna try to ask the 40 cent president for help too until I, I solve this matter. <clears throat> but like, uh, I had it all in my head. It does that to me all the time. It They just completely robbed me all the time, you know? And like, they all know. See, there's an Asian lady in that car for some reason. Now she's gonna drive off. It's like, they all know. They did some kind of wicked spell, you know. They're worried about about their future. Like I said, they, they're living a lie, you know. The Vietnamese people are living a lie. They they party and celebrate it like they truly won the Vietnam War when, you know, it, it's a huge lie. Yeah, this is his mom's house again. And this is how God met. If so, this is probably how that Messiah guy met uh, 
met uh, met him in contact with him because of it and brought him to the military and all that <clears throat> so like um, I'm gonna d discuss a little something can't stand the new songs I remember the new songs used to have meaning in it but now they don't <clears throat> Yeah, um, ever since, um, you know, I haven't found a job or like I supposed to find a job. I'm on the verge of losing my car and my, my apartment and all my stuff. Like, you know, the church people and the, uh, my workplace and the city and the police department is giving me a hard time, like a disability, like, you know, giving me a disability where I can't get back and get, get my work done. Like I'm disabled. You know, that's what I feel like. It does stuff like that to me every day until I lose everything. You know, that guy, Kim, that's the problem. And, like, it would try to, uh, to uh, what you call it, repossess my body and, and take over. You know, it does that every day. I can't stand it, man. You know? <clears throat> that dude's a fucking loser, man. <clears throat> I'm going to, um, like I said, uh, I think, you know... It teamed up with Buddha and all that stuff, and that guy D got something to do with it. It it doesn't have a job. I'm confronting him right now. You know, if it's true, it's true. You know, if you was in my shoes, you'd probably do the same. You know, but like, um, I was cracking jokes to talk about like the six D nine, and like you know, like um, from that video when I talked about the the drug bus, and when it took like it took 18 days. For them to terminate me at my job for trying to help the community out with drug bus you know and like um i was working and uh they got upset and did some kind of voodoo on me and got rid of my job you know <clears throat> talking about and that guy deep put me like out there in his house and we're talking about the 6d9 you know i was joking that like 69 is the umkoi umkoi you know but it, that's in asian language and look like it got upset and went and got the boss and, and and got rid of me and fired me. And now I'm sitting here trying to confront them about that. And like, you know, and like I said, uh, you know, they they think they act like they own the country because of that guy, An San Hung, and that Buddha, you know. Because they think they fucking own you and my birth certificate is missing. You know, this, this is a time... Uh, when I was working at Hawker too, and like uh, he he came and got me for some reason. Who knows? Must to cast a spell. I'm confronting you right now, and like uh, and got rid of my job that way. The 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 Asian community, the Laos community. This is a time me somewhere and I missed some days and probably got rid of me. But like you know, it means 69. St the star is the dick sucker, dick sucker, the umkoi umkoi. You know. Start the 6D9. The star is the dick sucker. Dick sucker. You know, that's the star. I was kind of joking around because I, sometimes I kind of mess with rap, like, lyrics inside my head, you know. But, like, um, but, yeah, and after, the, I think it got upset and went and got rid of me, you know. It did something to me to show off his shit, you know. <clears throat> so, like, um, um, you know, uh, Yeah, I know his his family works there, you know, and like most of his family worked there. And I talked about my five year watch, the Benovo Benova watch, that that came by and beat me in my ass and screwed me. You know, Todd knew all about it. That guy Todd, I'm confronting Todd, the owner of Leaning Technology Composites, you know, and like they knew all about it. And this guy make millions of dollars, you know, versus that nine bucks an hour, and the Messiah and knowing that at that time they didn't know who was superior. They they got me bagged in a body bag. But then his true identity came out and now it's out there screwed. I remember seeing Todd for the first time, just like uh that guy Ricky, the supervisor, pale faced Wobba Fat laying on the kitchen cafeteria table, you know, looks like he's about to choke and die. That 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 Todd is the same way too. When I first met Todd his decaying body looks like he was 
about to die. He had a decaying body. But since I was there because of my status and, and stuff and my glory inside the church and other stuff and what it robbed me from, you know, he, he's not no longer that decaying body. You know, he's no longer living in that decaying body, but he revived because of me, you know. And he's out there trying to kill me and, and put me in the in in the ground so he won't have to deal with the crime or the death sentence. <clears throat> you know? Right. Todd I think Todd is one of the main suspects when it comes to the Twin Towers. You know, this Bitnova Bitnova watch is the real thing, you know. Right. And like um <clears throat> and his family, that guy D Pumvilla's family owns that Buddhist temple. And most of his family and relatives works at leading technology composites. And I've been trying to, you know, I've been, and lots of people like to play with love spells and stuff like that. They, they play with voodoo, that's for sure. And they, they sell drugs and they use drugs to uh, screw you. They will cast a spell on you while you're sleeping and all that stuff and, and, and try to drug you and, and make it in America, you know. <clears throat> but like uh, his family, most of his family worked there, and I swear to God, they stood me up. Like what I said on the paper, I got stood up, man. And like I said, these people, like that Vietnamese guy, worked there for 25 years. It You don't know what it did to did to everybody. Right. And that guy, Rob, Robert, I think he, he's been working there like at least 15, 20 years. That guy, Robert, in the four-door Civic, the light brown one. Right. <clears throat> yeah, that guy... Oh yeah, that that Ansan home faggot lives inside him. I I could just see it because of me and the and what it has against me. That's maybe what maybe why you know. <clears throat> but um, but yeah, I'm claiming that Todd uh, stole my identity and tried to kill me, you know, and and it has it right now. And it doesn't want to admit it, you know. The whole company uh, fought over it, and 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 now they're gonna regret it, you know. They all know about it and, and stuck by his side. I heard that he lost his company, and they went a free for all, and stole a whole bunch of money from that guy Todd from leading technology composites. You know, people went to a better company, bought br brand new cars. That one guy bought a brand new car, and. That one girl brought a brand new car. These are expensive cars. I heard he lost his, uh, his uh, what you call it, his company, and there was just money sitting around, and they straight went and robbed him. Went out and got cars, brand new cars, man. They 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 ran off with like hundreds of thousands of dollars, you know. <clears throat> but that's the rumor. Nobody told me anything, but from what I, what I see through my eyes and what I know. Yeah, I heard. I heard he lost it, and they they went and he they they know that he, they can't he can't do nothing to them. So they went and stole his money, what is supposed to be his money, but went and stole it, and they couldn't do nothing about it. Went out and bought a house, brand new car. That guy Matt Matthew Matt with the one with the banana clip gun bought a brand new motorcycle, you know, and all that shit. They went out and got a motorcycle, a brand new motorcycle. They they paid him off and fucked him off right away, you know. <clears throat> but like um now that I'm recording, you know, it, it just goes and blobs it out of my head. I'm getting sick and tired of it screwing with me. <clears throat> I'm gonna talk about uh the time you know how they're gonna repossess my car. I'm gonna talk about the, the disability. You know, but like my, you know, it, it's stopping me from going out to find a job. Like I try to get stuff done, and it, it goes and screws me. You know, it it has a problem. You know, if it's a disability and stuff like that, you know, I need I need to collect disability. You know. But like I know it's working for the black church because the minority of the church are blacks and whites and Mexicans. But it's kind of crazy, you know. Been there since day one, 
not the overpopulated Chinese people, you know, then I still came up short. Then now they're trying to, they're trying to kill me like they're the smartest motherfuckers alive, you know. <clears throat> and like, um, episode of Meta Period, uh, he's in there with the Laos community stripping me again. That girl, um, um, what you call Rebecca, puts a post to me, tell me to transfer it after I trained somebody. So I went and hooked them up and they went and flipped it on me and got rid of me. You know, that guy doesn't want you to have money, you know. Right. It wants to be around, but then, you know, I will never accept you as my father or my friend, but my straight up fucking enemy, you know. <clears throat> you know, I, there's some things that you can't forget, but, you know, I'll pick my mom over you any day. You know, I love my mom. I don't fucking love you, you know. But, like, you know, because there's some things that you can't forget and forgive, and there's something that you can't not forget or forgive. You know, and that's my mother is one of them. I, I would never, ever pick you over my mother. You know, I love my mom more than I will ever love you. You're just a fucking loser. You guys realize your birthday, man. A Korean pussy. You know, a card face, fuck little Korean pussy. You know, a thief, a rapist, a murderer. You know, a wannabe fucking God. A reject fucking loser. You know, but like, you know, you know, but, you know. There's something that you can't forget. And like I said with my father too, you know, bitch ass motherfuckers and the lost community did my ass hella dirty. And there's stuff, stuff that you can't forget and there's some stuff that you will never forget, you know. <clears throat> but like, um, I'm gonna talk about um, the loot people. Like today, last night, it's like they raid my apartment. You know, like <clears throat> they raid, you know, his, his people right there. And the loot temple that raided my apartment and like just like how my studio got raided my freaking uh one bedroom apartment got raided they all know exactly how it looks like see, see, see that's why i was talking about how they gained up on me like that and stripped me out of my own free will and just like rape you know and get whatever they want they, they will get the whole thing the whole nine yards you, you know what i'm talking about the closet the restroom the whole nine yards you know and like they raided my apartment once again and now like how what happened and how i lost my apartment it's gonna happen again you know they're in some kind of time hole that guy that vietnamese guy got something to do with it that guy robert got something to do with it. that girl gail got something to do with it and you know that guy johnny ratana is like hiding in some kind of spiritual stage attacking me the the, the buddhist community that that girl gail got a problem just like what I was talking about, Todd Lodge's company kept his mouth shut. The people in the company uh, robbed him, stole a lot of money from him, and there's nothing that they can that Todd can do about it. You know, but you know, work for the Messiah because he's guilty. Now, now, that, <clears throat> you know, now that the damage has been done, he there's nothing left to do, but you would have to be forced to work for your freedom. Which is for the Messiah. And that's how Han Sang Hung does people. You know. He screws people like that. And forces you to work for him. Just like when you think about. Uh, that guy Todd. And his situation. See how he's in a fucked up situation now. And now he's going to be forced to work for that guy Han Sang Hung. And the church of God. And th that's how bad and pathetic this guy is. You know. You, you know. What the fuck. Yeah, you know. But like, you know, it does stuff like that and it frames as you constantly going going in some kind of time of what I see. But like, and it does that until it gets its way, you know? Just like the thought, Todd theory and leading technology, getting screwed like that now is gonna be forced to defend him and fight for him, you know? <clears throat> but like, um, you know, I, had, I think I had like three vehicles you know, and I know this Lexus is going to end up in the same way. I paid a, a Cadillac Eldorado off when I was working at a 2000 when I was working at Hawker. Right when I paid it off, I went to school because, uh, I'll explain it later, and it got repossessed from me. You know, and, you know, I, I can't prove it, man, and nobody wants to help me. You know, even the police department, they, they worked their ass off for that guy. 
But like the people should be upset because I mean, that guy, that's only if your father's God. But like father, like son, exile hell and having that in your criminal record, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna kill you completely, man. <clears throat> um right now I'm gonna go try to talk to about my been applying what well, I have been applying working on that but it just get, giving me a hard time We're, I'm gonna drive down to Hawker Beach craft now I'm trying to trying to uh, clear some things up and uh, yeah. trying to clear some things up and hopefully mr. Hawker Beechcraft the the owner of that company and the people will bring me back in there and give me a job you know I'm, I'm gonna pot drive up there now <clears throat> I drank a red bull hold on <clears throat> um yeah and that's the field I had it in my head like that but then it went and screwed. Did that guy be doing stuff like that? And if, if it's a disability, you know, I want to collect my disability because this guy is stopping me from having the life that I should have. You know? All right, let, I'm gonna drive to Hawker now. Now I'm taking a, a detour around the facility. Your mother and you chuck it on your father. You chuck it on your brother and 
how they got it done now. Uh, Bless you, so... Ooh, beach <laughs> now I kind of see for my situation until I go into the flashback and think about my past history I see it clearly now and how it did it, you know. And now I'm gonna see if I could get a job back here. Like, you know, they, they screwed me off for a long time, you know. They, they, for us, they dicked me off for a long time, man. I remember when I got the job here, I felt my whole life was fixed almost. I guess, like I said, that guy, hates me and stuff when it hit crime you know it went and ruined his life completely and tried to ruin mine you know because you know it wanted to become him but became the reverse flash instead you know <clears throat> but like um i see how clearly and how they got it done now <clears throat> i'm gonna talk about uh, the time when i was working here and how you know i have more experience now and I'm gonna be uh, applying for jobs. And I know I'm way more than qualified. They hired people with no experience and trained them out of their own pocket. You know, right. when I have more than enough experience, you know. And I'm gonna be talking about that and how it, they did me broke and, and all that stuff for a long time. Right. And because discrimination uh, because of what I did and what the Messiah couldn't have done for himself that brought me death in the employment industry. Right. You know, I should be collecting disability, you know. <clears throat> they, uh, you know, they went and got rid of my uh, my love and my pride and, and try to, they even went and murdered my mom and try to get rid of me and my stuff and I can prove it look at my history of me growing up as a kid you know and i challenged the world mission society church of god to a lie detector test you know and i'm gonna prove it to the whole world and what america has done for me 
and be, if so, I'm gonna try to educate them about what they do to people like that, you know? <clears throat> but like the Todd theory in leading technology composites, you know, I have all that experience now, you know, I have almost eight years, I worked there for almost eight years, you know, and plus the experience from here and uh, WATC, Technical College. So I'm gonna be looking for a job here, but like this stuff like this, and that guy is screwing me, and I'm trying to uh, prove it and trying to get these people in the courtroom and, and settle it. But, but yeah, I remember when I got the job there, my job, okay, I'm gonna lower it down. My job was like the hardest, hardest grade out of the sheet metal, the number one ranking job out there. And they went, I nailed it every single time. I did the perfect job and they, I guess it started hating and went and did a super move on me. During that time, like I said, it etched it out during a time that you know when I was defenseless and, and a kid and started ruining my life <clears throat> but like uh you know I'm gonna talk about it again here the December 24 2007 <clears throat> but like um but yeah, you know, I have, I worked at Leading Technology Composites for eight years, I say, I was just one month off. And like, um, and I have WATC here and I worked here for about a year, I think, until it finally, like I said, that time hole thing, they, they take turns, take turns going in until they got it done. Right. <clears throat> My, I'm gonna talk about the people that, that, that worked there with me. You know, um, hold on. I'm trying to clear this thing up here, and and yeah. <clears throat> you know, I worked here for like a year or so before they busted a super move on me, the the Buddhist temple and that guy on Sanhu and the church people, and probably leading technology too. So like um. You know, I got leading technology composites experience in my background, almost eight years. Worked there for a year, went to technical college for aerostructure sheet metal. <clears throat> you know, and like, I remember the times when I was trying to, I tried to, I got like four interviews at, at Spirit. And they, 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 they rejected me every single time, you know. They kept me broke for almost like 17 years, you know. Like and something like that. <clears throat> like I said, like they these people became gods before us, and they're out there screwing the economy up. You know. <clears throat> like I said, I came clean. Now it's your turn. I left many videos over a hundred and something. You know, I came clean. Come clean before it's too late, man. You know. <clears throat> I asked, you know, I asked them to come clean. Okay, I'm gonna talk about the job that I had. I had a sheet metal job uh, attaching the mate jig um, fuselage, uh, attaching the nose to the fuselage of the aircraft, doing sheet metal work there. And like, um, I started out with that Vietnamese guy Long. Uh, he's probably, I don't know, he's probably still working there. Vietnamese people, that guy been working there for 25 years at Leading Technology Composites. And it does all that wicked stuff to people. You know, it, it went to his Buddha and did some kind of witchcraft voodoo on it just to get away with the crime, you know? <clears throat> but like, um, I started out with that guy Long and I was superior to him in his work. You know, I was like, every single time. But you know, I, I reign superior over him every single time when we, we, when we work and maybe that's what caused them to hate on me. Vietnamese people are living my promise and my life for me. You know, like what I said with the gospel, you know, they're living a lie and living my promise and my life for me. 
you know. <clears throat> like I ran superior over that guy every single time. My 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 work was perfect, gorgeous, you know. And like um yeah, I started out with that guy, that Vietnamese guy named Long, and then there was that veteran guy, a Marine, he was, his name is Nate. The lead man was Phil. There was Roger and I forgot another person, Daniel or something. There, there was like there, that, that that was us working on the fuse lodge on the Hawker King Air, you know, and like um and our supervisor, the one that that hired me, is a woman named Carol. <clears throat> but for some reason, I'm gonna tell you guys the truth right now, you know, for for for, for some reason, um, I took a voluntary layoff, and like and came back home, and it did some kind of super move to 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 wipe my memory out of my head and kept me broke for a long time. You know, this is the time when I wasn't, you know, when it, it went to war with me. This wasn't a time, this is still the time when he exited out, met my father, and like planted my death for a long time. You know, and, and so, <laughs> it kind of kind of crazy, huh? But like, yeah, he, he did that and like, um, you know, it went and, 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 and got rid of it entirely, you know? I forgot all about it. It did all kinds of super move on me. And that's why I'm just trying to get these people in the courtroom and my old man and, and try to end this matter, you know? <clears throat> but like, um, I remember we was in the orientation, uh, in the orientation on, on doing the who's gonna get the job in in the mate jig uh, fuse lodge in the Hawker King Air doing sheet metal work and stuff like that. <clears throat> and like, um, we went at it for almost six, seven, eight months, I think. You know, <clears throat> for like six months. I probably worked there for total probably like a year, six months, almost two years, you know. But like, um, you know, we they went at it with me for a long time. You know, for a long, long time. <clears throat> they never had a perfect plan. That's what the supervisor um, Carol told me they never had a perfect plane until I came along, you know, that I nailed it every single time. <clears throat> but like, um, the, how I got the job is because out of the orientation, I, I, I came out ranked number one, you know, and that's how I remember I got that job. But then the hate crime was going on. I didn't understand it until I, you know, it lost me. It went into war and lost to me, you know, and like that kind of kind of crazy, huh? But like, um, <clears throat> but like, um, yeah. And now I'm trying to clear things up, and be because of that, I'm gonna be disabled and living in a homeless shelter. I already filmed my apartment and what I have there, and now I'm gonna lose everything because of this hate crime that that guy and the leading technology and everybody in the city got. Got it. Got against me. They wanted. I remember when that. Uh, <laughs> I, I remember at the time when that stuff was like up, still up for grabs on SoundCloud, and you know, God is light. Music is light coming out of darkness, you know. And and God is light, you know. God is God ain't a child of darkness, but God is light. Music is light coming out of darkness, you know. It, it's an art, but like, you know, <laughs> thanks to the flash, huh? Yeah, thanks to the flash. But like, um, <clears throat> you know, that when it finally went away, you know, and somebody took up the spot and it went for one person, thanks to Batman's ability. You know, I'm gonna testify about that. They were using that to stir up the economy and use it as a weapon. But, uh, you know, because of me, I went and neutralized it and now it's upset, you know. All, all the position and all that, that stuff went to uh, to one person, and and now you know the the church and the company, and the people in the economy are all upset about it, you know. But like um, the truth about that is, the devil and the the guy An San Hung was using that as a weapon towards the country, you know, raging war against Babylon, riding on a white horse, raging war against Babylon, you know. And I went in there and neutralized the threat, and now everybody's upset. You know, the death could have been like in the trillions or millions, but because of me, you know, I defeated COVID too in in 
in leading tech no, top no, the leading technology composites that that the ocean lady six feet apart social distance came and unleashed hell on me what the fuck stay over there no touching okay you know what the fuck and it, what a coincidence i lost all my money to my vacation lost my apartment lost my vehicle my car i just put a brand new motor and lost my motor for a social distance man you know <clears throat> and like uh yeah i i got covid and it, it seems like the whole company knew all about it and you know went in it with that guy and sold me out for power and money and i'm trying to get them in the courtroom you know and like um <clears throat> you know I, I'm, I'm pretty much disabled right now and i'm seeing everything all disappear you know i work my ass off just to be a homeless bum you know your life has no meaning to be a homeless bum you know <clears throat> but like um you know uh you know with that guy around hating on me it's making me um, that's what i'm testifying about getting a job and being able and having being healthy to work because of that guy you know it, I'm, it's giving me a disability where i can't can't um support myself you know and and have a family of my own because you know they don't care about you <clears throat> but like um you know i defeated covid and you know it ain't come, it's destroyed i i completely destroyed it and i went to work the next when i was finally was able to come back and they were disappointed. They tried to fire me twice and been trying to confront them about that lie detector test and all that stuff. And it, COVID's gone, you know. I, I whooped his ass so bad, it went and disowned his own birthday. The day you was born is the day you would enter your exile. But it is I, let there be light. You know, you do the math, who's gonna win? You know, the Messiah or God himself let there be light, you know. But like it, it but like I said, you know, I whooped his ass so bad it went in this on his own birthday. COVID ain't coming back, you know. <clears throat> but like um right now I kinda need a job and I'm seeing all the stuff in my life disappearing and that's why I'm here today at Hawker Beach Crab, uh trying to trying to settle and the score and see if they can uh bring me back here i wouldn't mind working hell yeah you know <clears throat> you know you're better off having a job than not having a job you know but like i'm testifying about that right now with all my experience and that guy out there they're gonna leave me disabled and i'm you know and i'm gonna be one upset motherfucker man you know like like i you know i'm asking how could beachcraft i'm making this video for beachcraft right now and bring me back in there that I got screwed up I got fucked over and screwed up when I was working there you know and you know every time I think about it it's still it's man it still wows me and upsets me you know <clears throat> man, I see how now I see how they did it you know and like uh I'm asking begging uh the company how could beach crap please uh let me back in and give me a life you know restore me and you know and stuff <clears throat> i'm clean you know i had to go i had to go donate my plasma and i had to go donate my plasma just to get gas in my car it's like the company had it all planned out but i'm not lying it, it, you know what that means i have a lot to say about uh this uh the plasma place you, you know what this means i'm clean you know that that's for the girls though you know I, I'm still single and never had kids, never married. You, you know that means I'm clean. You know. So like um, <clears throat> um, but like uh, yeah, I'm trying to clear it up right now. I don't know what to do. When I get up in the morning, it just completes me, completely robs me, and does all that stuff. And by the time it's time, I'm pretty much disabled somewhat. You know, and like trying to man come on you know <clears throat> I, I did a lot of work in leading technology composites I'm gonna let you guys know my background bagging I did a little bit of that breakout d-bag bullet prep you know 
a little bit of composite there too. I had a forklift license, did the press operator. <clears throat> that I nailed every, I pretty much nailed every job that was at leading technology composites. <clears throat> so like, yeah, you know, um, hopefully they bring me back in there and I'm probably gonna make a separate or a better video explaining my uh, my disappearance and why I want to come back to this company and how they did it, you know. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sorry, Carol, but like I didn't know that at that time, but now I do, you know. Like I got I got screwed over bad, you know. <clears throat> but like, but like you know, I'm still alive. You know, I was stuck living with my dad, being broke, helping him uh, get well again, you know. And now I'm starting to see some other stuff. And, you know, if it's true, it's true. I'm going to be confronting them about a lot of stuff. Um, I can take a look here. That's pretty much enough about me. Yeah. Yeah, I ranked number one and did uh, the the hardest job that they had to offer during that time. I don't know. I don't know. They, they might still be working there, you know. I'm going to drive around and give you guys a detour here. Yeah, I'm unemployed right now. I'm trying to get to my unemployment check, and they're being assholes about it. And you know, it seems like they they get you to fix the country and the government, and they get to spend your retirement money. They get to spend your unemployment. They get to spend your taxes. They they get to rob you out of your kids and your life. You know? <clears throat> they're making a big deal about it. It's like they don't want to pay you. You know, and I'm broke going through my stuff at my apartment and taking my stuff to the pawn shop and stuff just to get food and you know get gas in my car and i was supposed to apply for all that stuff and like i said it screws me over you know <clears throat> no gas you know going through my stuff being a pikachu taking that shit to the pawn shop you know That's the plant where I started at, right there. I think that's plant five. They do all the sheet metal work and stuff. Yeah, right now I'm trying to see, I'm trying to get a hold of the big guy in Hockey Beachcraft and hopefully I can restore my job, you know. <clears throat> like I said, I got that guy going around doing all kinds of wicked shit to me. Yeah, they stole money, that guy, Todd. They heard like a rumor that it lost his company and they the, the people of the company stole a lot of money for him. You know? just drive around it's pretty big this, this company
I don't know how I'm gonna do it, get to the place, running out of time. If that unemployment check kicks in, then okay. <laughs>